here, Nate. Get him up. Gentlemen, went over the rules in the back. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. I want you to fight hard, but fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, touch now. Good luck to you both of you. Like I said the first time, not a chance. Not a chance. McGregor. Diaz. Fight scheduled for five. Five-minute rounds. Big John McCarthy, our referee. McGregor, the southpaw in the green trunks. Diaz, the southpaw in the black trunks. And as I suspected, right away, he's opening up with the leg kicks. A tactic that Rafael Dos Anjos used successfully on Nate Diaz. Nate got that one up, but still took it in the meat of his leg. Again, Connor. Those are brutal leg kicks he's landing on Nate. Connor looking for redemption, the ultimate redemption Again. of his fighting career. And he's opening up as many people thought he would, trying to chop down the lead leg of Nate Diaz. And those are unchecked, brutal power kicks off that back leg. And Nate is already getting light with that front leg, trying to prepare for those kicks. But he's always heavy on that front leg, Mike, that boxing base style of his. He checked that yep, one. Yeah, checked that one. And a lot of this, Joe, is due to Connor's evolvement of the ground game. You throw the kicks, he's not worried about getting down on the mat with Nate Diaz. Well, it's also just an excellent tactic because Nate has shown ability to be hit there before. And again. McGregor over and over. Oh, he tagged him. him. He tagged him. Straight left connects. Connor says, get on up. Again with that leg kick. Fight going according to plan thus far for McGregor. Two minutes in. First fight was five and a half months ago, and McGregor had early success. And again with the leg kick. Nate's having a problem with that leg, Mike. He's moving on it funny. Connor with a combination. Diaz. Again, oh, he slams just it ate in there. That one, Joe. Beautiful timing on that leg kick. <laughs> Diaz opens up. The leg kick is a huge factor in this fight, and Connor's using it brilliantly. Connor just able to slip that jab. Again, he does. Good shot to the body by Connor. Good counter. And again with the leg kick. He has just eaten him. He's checked one. Connor has talked a lot, Joe, about this fight going deep into the latter rounds, and that's where he feels he'll have a big advantage. And another one, another leg kick. See, Nate's already lighter on that front foot. Well, he's trying to check him if he can, but he eats another one. Connor's doing a great job of timing it off of his punches as Nate leans back. And Nate's not circling away from that left kick at all. Ow. Another one. I mean, a beautiful display of leg kicking so far by Connor.
Long reach. 30 seconds. Long reach, but not long enough to avoid the leg kick. Yep. And another one. Connor has said precision beats power, timing beats speed. Clip them again. Final seconds of the round. One nothing McGregor. And here we see the leg kicks beautifully placed by Conor McGregor. Here's another one. And there's a nice left hand that dropped him. And another clean left hand by McGregor. Excellent first round for Conor McGregor. And very different than the first round of their first fight. Did not blow himself out. High Steve Brad. Gonna rinse his spit. That's the technical difference between the two of us. And that's what's going to be for the next four rounds. No rushing in. No break. Calculated yet aggressive attack is what John Kavanaugh is talking about. Look at that right leg of Nate Diaz. It is chewed up already. Well, Nate now knows he's in a fight. And that will fuel his fire fiercely. Read a great quote that said, defiance and disdain, these men wear it like a suit of armor. Check that one. And Nate's corner was saying, no more free kicks. He ate another one. Oh, big left. He heard him with that. Get back up. That's two, Joe. And another leg kick. He's picking him apart right now. All Conor McGregor. 19 and left. counting with the leg kicks. Oh, he heard it again. Conor feels it. Wouldn't it be something if he stops him in round two? Which is when Diaz defeated him five and a half months ago. Conor looks perfect thus far. Nate's having a hard time moving on that right leg as well, Mike. That could be a factor in why he's falling down like this, plus the clean hard shots of Connor. Only two men have stopped Nate Diaz. Josh Thompson in 2013, Hermes Franca in 2006. Another nasty leg kick by Connor. Thus far, Nate unable to get into that flow. Relax, not relax. just not able to get in the flow, not able to get success with anything yet. Left hook, left hook is no On the leg, on the leg. John Kavanaugh. Again, beautiful. So far, just a perfect strategy by Connor. And we knew he left no stone unturned in preparation for this rematch. Obsessed every single day. And again. Waiting for tonight. Midway point of round number two. Beautiful counter. Slip and rip. Connor is happy to wait for what's given to him. Instead of hunting down openings like he did in the first fight. Well, he's getting more and more confident as this fight goes on. Standing right in front of Nate and outboxing him here. Oh, 
Again with the leg kick. And again. Man. Nate putting pressure on him. He senses Connor slowing down. Diaz trying to score here. Nate moving forward. Oh, he's Good landing. combination. Connor's moving away now. Nate is sensing Connor McGregor getting tired, and he's starting to put pressure on Connor. Which is what happened in the first fight. Diaz pushing forward here, just over a minute on the clock. In the second, Connor goes body. Nate trying to open up. Nate put pressure and on rocks him. And again. Big combination. We have ourselves a fight. Nate Diaz weathered the storm, and now Conor McGregor is in trouble. 30 seconds. He goes high with the knee. He tags him again. But Diaz just walks through it, Joe. Uppercuts. Body. 10. This place is awesome. One, one. Wow. Things just got real interesting. This is why you push yourself every day. Rip over. Rip over. Casey, get him against the cage. Got it. Pop that down you like you're left hand. Put the full left leg, hit you with the left. All right, hold on, hold on. All right, hey, hey, hey. Double jabs are working. Gilbert Melendez. And don't be scared to block. I like when you block. Dominic Cruz had a very interesting statement before this fight. He said, I don't know if Conor McGregor has a style that can go five rounds. Look at this knockdown by Conor. He explodes. He moves very fast. It's part of his success, but it is draining. Beautiful combinations by Conor, but then he starts to fade. He was moving away. Nate sensed it, and Nate started moving in on him and swarming. Connor was breathing very heavy in between rounds, and we're moving in to round number three. Diaz, the aggressor, early. Connor's still breathing heavy, Mike. Yep. And he's been much more calculated in this fight, Joe, and still breathing heavy. Yep. I think Dominic Cruz had a very good point in his analysis of this fight. Connor is fading radically here. Big, deep breaths, hands moving much slower. A much diminished fighter in this third round. And Nate senses and it. Nate just pointed to him, and he just rocked him. They and clinch. now he's putting pressure on him. And Richard Perez, longtime boxing coach, said to Nate, put him against the cage. Throw some knees. And Nate went for the takedown there unsuccessfully, but he's making Connor fight a clinch battle. And we've said time and time again, this is one of the most grueling aspects of MMA. Big deep breath by Connor, and the chance of Diaz ring through the crowd. The number one driver of success is hunger. And these men have a great hunger, a great drive, and they will leave it all inside the octagon tonight. Good Connor counter by him. Connor. And again with the leg kick, a hard one. And a good counter left. Diaz covers up. Takes one to the body. There's still plenty of time in this oh round, my goodness. Mike. Three minutes, Joe. And he's talking to him now, talking to him and putting pressure on him. Standing right in his face. 
Here we go. Oh boy. Good spin by Connor. Caught the leg. But Nate he caught, caught the leg. Right in front of his corner, McGregor. Listening to the instruction from his coaches. Midway point of this fight. Diaz drops down for a double. Let's see if he can get it. Connor defended, but again, defending in this kind of clinch battle is brutal and draining. Nice elbow on the, it was a little bit of a break, and they tangle again. Connor has only had one career fight go the distance. Good combination on the break by Nate. Connor's moving away here, and Nate's pointing at him. Oh, he's tired. Got him right over the air. There's those kicks again. They're much more hurried and much more labored. Look at the total strikes. Over 200 combined. Wow. And Nate points at him after he hits him. And Connor countered with a left hand himself. This is a dog fight, ladies and gentlemen. A real dog fight. And Nate tagged him with a one-two. Clinch. Quick punches to the jaw. Oh! There's the big body shots. McGregor's in big trouble here. Nate Diaz, Diaz is going looking off. to finish it right here, right now. Body. Tremendous pressure by Nate Diaz. This was the beginning of the end in the first matchup. But Connor's doing a much better job of defending in this round. He shot to that the body. Hurt. Big trouble for McGregor. Final seconds of the round. Just trying to survive. Wow. Huge round for Nate Diaz. These are those last few rounds in the roar. You're winning the clinch every time. If your eye get backs against the fence, hands up, they're hitting your heart, they're hitting your arms. You can slip and catch them on your arms. They're slaps. Those are for loads of time. Rinse and spit. This is it now, championship rounds. You can instigate the clinch and just lean on them and get your breath. Slip left hand is there every time. That fight that went the distance was against Max Holloway. It was a three-round fight. Tonight, the eighth five-round fight for McGregor. What a fight. And the fifth five-round fight for Diaz. Main event, non-title, but five, five-minute rounds. A hard one-two by Connor. a good left hand over the top. Nate took some punishment early, weathered the storm, literally. Manny turned it on at the end of the round. Another hard leg kick by Connor. Nate's got a big cut on his cheek now, Mike, as well as above his eye. Tonight, the first time that Connor has ever been in a fourth round. He's had six five-round fights 
in the UFC, including tonight. Never gone the distance in a five-round fight. They're going at it in these clinches, Mike, and Nate Diaz is throwing volumes of punches, whereas Connor's pot-shotting him. Well, uh, Nate's all bloodied up. He is, and he's having a hard time seeing, Mike. He keeps wiping his eyes. Another hard leg kick. He wobbled him with that one, Mike. Good shot to the body by Connor. Front kick to the chest by Nate. Counter. Nate is bloodied up, Mike, real bad. And he just ate another hard left hand by Connor. Connor re-energized here early in round four. Again, Nate with the clinch, drops down for the double. Can he get it? No, good defense by Connor. Diaz has gone 25 minutes once in his career. It's just the second time he's been to a fourth round. Again, Nate keeps reaching down, trying to complete a takedown. He hit him with another, another nice knee to the body. Yeah. Now he's ripping shots. Diaz's advantage in total strikes continues to grow. Oh, big shot by Connor. And Diaz returns fire. Great use of the clinch with that elbow. Both men bringing it. Another nice knee to the body by Nate. And Connor turns the clinch around. A lot of time on the clock. Connor with a beautiful combination. Both of these men so Nate durable. Nate staggered him there. Oh, beautiful counter by Connor. There's the kick. When you get this much buildup and this much anticipation for a fight, it's absolutely wonderful when the fight is like the one we're watching right now, Joe. Absolutely. And they're still swinging. Very nice combination there by Connor. He seems to have caught a second win, Mike. Moving well, good combination. A slip and rip. That's a good hard left hand over the top. 30 seconds on the clock here in round four. Five minutes. 
Look at this nasty counter left hand by Conor McGregor, and then a right hand behind it. Really seemed to have found a better rhythm in that round. They are on their feet here inside the sold out T-Mobile Arena. Five minutes remain. Nasty leg kick to start things off. Gilbert Melendez telling Nate Diaz, you need to win this round. This fight could very well be tied in two. Nate putting the pressure on him. Connor attempts a flying knee. And Nate just smothers it. around here. Connor's got Nate's back. Check. Nate checked that one. Man, look at the blood. Good Lord. Nate's having a real hard time seeing out of that right eye, Mike. It is a mess. Looking for more pressure. His yeah. face is so busted yeah. up here, and John took, took a big, good look at it. Connor got out of the way. Oh, Connor with that right. The moments you would think we're in Dublin. Nate drops down for the double. Can he get it? This would be huge. Cannot get it. Wow. Excellent takedown defense by Connor. Outstanding. And remember the first fight, it was Connor who initiated the takedown. McGregor Excellent is combination stuck. there by Nate. And Connor moves away from him. Yep. <laughs> Connor is tired by all three takedowns. Trying to stay in it here, Joe. Two and a half minutes. Good combination by Connor. Nate shakes his head, but those shots landed, as did those. Past the midway point of our fifth and final round. Excellent shot there by Nate. There's a clinch. Big elbow. Connor takes a look up at the clock. Two minutes. Knee to the body by Nate. He drops down again for the double. Can he get it? No. Wow. Excellent defense again by Connor. That's huge. 90 seconds. Wow, look how close round five is. But a lot of pressure here by Nate. The judges are going to be looking at this. He's the one pressuring Connor up against the cage and landing these shots. And Connor's having much more success on the outside. Oh, just, just missed with that missed. elbow. One minute. And Connor turns it around. Connor with a trip and Nate right back up to his feet. Nate turns it around again. 30 seconds to go. The biggest fight in MMA history. 
20 seconds. Recognition. Redemption. Beautiful takedown by Nate Diaz. In the final seconds of the fifth round. Could be huge on the judges' scorecards. Wow. What a fight. They left it all inside the octagon. What a fight. Wow. Unbelievable. This crowd is on its feet. Those men just gave everything they had. And win, lose, or draw, that was an incredible performance by both fighters. Now let's take a look at some of the knockdowns by Connor. There's that left hand. Here's another one. Early in the fight, Connor was having his way with the stand up, with that straight left, and with the left leg kick. <laughs> There's a nice elbow by Diaz. Somewhere around the third round, towards the end of the second round, really, Diaz started coming on strong. Combinations, just swarmed him, oh. hit him with that elbow there. And what's really big is this takedown at the end of the fifth and final round. That is huge, because that was an incredibly close round and that was a definitive moment. As the judges render their decision, this is the longest couple of minutes in McGregor and Diaz's life. All right, it's in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Jeff Moen scores the contest, 48-47, McGregor. Glenn Schroeder scores it, 47-47. And Derek clearly scores it, 48-47. 47 for the winner by majority decision, the notorious Connor McGregor. I'm here with the winner, Connor McGregor. Connor, that was a dog fight. You had to dig deep. Give us your thoughts. Surprise, surprise, motherfucker. The king is back.